All right, so I've got my floor plans. I've got first floor put in with some uh, windows and doors. I've got some stairs on either side. Uh, I think I'm ready to add a second floor. So let's move my 3D cursor to a spot, the spot where I would like my second floor to have as kind of its point of origin. So I'm going to grab the previous floor. I'm going to tab into that. I'm going to select one of the vertices. And I'm going to do a shift S and I will move the cursor to the selected spot. And I can tab out of there. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go to Archimesh and I'm going to select room and put in a new room. And there it is. One room that appears to be have a wall that's similar height as the previous floor, has zero thickness and isn't terribly long. So let's go ahead and deal with some of that. Let's go to the room itself. Uh, let's give the wall, I think on the last floor, the wall thickness was in that point 25 to 6 to 7 range. So we'll do that. Let's give the wall a little bit of length. And let's go to advanced and let's rotate that wall 90 degrees. Voila, beautiful. Loving that. All right, so uh, I, think, I think I want to be in the top view, so let's push 7 on my number pad, and let's just manually grab the length. It doesn't seem to be matching up. The, the, the uh, length seems to be different than on the previous floor. Uh, I'm not sure about why that's happening, but we'll deal with it all right so let's go ahead that's only one wall let's go ahead and just make sure we've got four walls uh problem is they're doing the zigzag thing so wall number two let's give it a little more length just to make it a little easier to read things visually let's go to advanced we'll change the angle on that i think 180 will do the trick now that seems to have thrown off those other two walls, but let's give those a little extra length and change the angles on those as well. No, oh, actually, I think. Oh, it doesn't like 270, so let's do minus 90. I think I knew that. And then the fourth wall, same deal. Let's give it a little extra length. And we'll go to advanced and change the angle of that to probably zero. Okay. So now, of course, that's not matching up. But from this point, it's simply a matter of adjusting the wall lengths until they are appropriate and matching up with the bottom floor. And that really should be about it, other than um, adding a, I'll check the boxes to add a ceiling and floor. And then that probably is it for the moment. Um, I'll come back in. Oh, I do see one other thing. It looks like my wall heights are a little bit more than what the plan calls for. So maybe what I'll do is go to the height here and take that down as well. And that should have us pretty close to the mark. Oh, I got a little bit of tweaking to do, but that is fine. I will do that tweaking and then we'll put in a few panel windows like the plan wants.